Okay, today I'm going to show you how to set up the link for a custom navigation bar. If you ordered a custom package and you've been asked to send me the link, then this tutorial is going to show you how to get the link. So first let's go over what a navigation bar is if you're not sure. Navigation bar is simply this right here. It's a bar, basically a line of words that are usually above your header or below your header like this. What these words are are usually things that you want your readers to be able to find easily without having to search through your whole blog. So they usually include things like home, about, contact, and the others are going to be up to you. So you're going to have to decide what it is you want your readers to be able to find the most. So for example, on this blog, she chose <coughs> brothers, so all the posts that she writes about her two sons, recipes, all of the posts she writes about recipes, all of the posts about her project, Sorry. and then she probably set this one I think we set that one up to blogs I love and then she had a list of the blogs she left so what you're going to need to decide is what it is that you want your readers to be able to find there is two ways to set these up some of them are going to be pages home, about, contact these are actually all pages rates and services on that one they're all pages on this one projects, recipes, brothers, those are going to be linked to posts. So if there's something you're going to be posting about a lot that you want to show up and be connected to one of the words in your header, you're going to have to use post labels. So we're going to go over both of those options, pages and labels, so you can decide how you would like to set your navigation bar links up. So let's go over to your dashboard. There's two ways to do this. Let's go with pages first. Again, pages are going to be about me, contact me. Blogger gives you 10 static pages. So a static page basically just means it's not going to show up in your post section. <coughs> so to set up a page, you can either go to new post from your blog or from your blogger dashboard, you can go to new post. Now I'm using the older blogger interface. If you're on the new blogger interface, I believe it's much easier to set up a page. They have a tab over on the side that says new page. You would just click on that. But if you're on the older blogger interface, you're going to go to posting and then you go over here to edit pages. A little difficult to find. You're going to click leave page and you're going to click new page. So up here, let's say we're doing an about me, we type in about me. Now if you don't have time to write in all the information, that's fine, you can come back and do it later. And For now, just put coming soon. <clears throat> After that, you're going to click publish page. Oh. I'm sure you've all seen that. Okay, about, we'll do this again, me coming soon publish page. There we go. Okay, so <clears throat> what it's asking you is if you want your navigator your sorry navigation bar to be in the sidebar section of your blog, if you want it to be under your header, and you actually don't want it to be in either because I'm going to be making you a custom navigation bar. If you click either of these it's going to show up on your blog in the blogger style fashion where it's just the words. So you're going to click no gadget and you're going to hit save and publish. Then you're going to go to view page and this is the link you're going to send me for that page. For your about me page. Now let's say you needed to go back to it. Let's do that really quick. Let's go, you wanted to edit it. You could go new post and again edit pages, leave page, and there's all of your pages. Okay, so then if you wanted to edit it, you would do the same thing. Edit, publish page, no gadget, save and publish. And you see the link is going to be the same, but again, up here is the link that you would grab and you would send to me. So that is one way to set up links for your navigation bar. 
Now there's going to be a few items that you're not going to want to do on a page. So let's say, for example, you have a blog and you blog about all sorts of different things. You do projects and you do recipes and you do photography and you want your navigation bar to link to those posts. So what you would do is you would decide what the post you're writing is going to be like what category you want it to be in. So let's say recipes, for example. You're going to write a post on recipes and you want it to be included in the navigation bar link that's going to say recipes. So let's do, okay, you'd write your post here. <clears throat> and then you would title this label. Here's your label box down here. And in your label box, you're going to put recipes. Now, every single time you wrote a post that was about recipes, you would want to enter the same exact label. Capital R, spelled the same. You wouldn't want to do a little R because it would create a new archive. So, you label it recipes and you do publish posts. I'll do this a few times so you get the hang of it. Now, let's write another post. And let's say this is going to be project. So let's just do, you're going to make a card. Card. Okay. Do custom cards. Custom cards. Okay. And you're going to enter your post here. And you're going to call this one project. Now again, every time you wrote a post on a project, you don't want to post just projects because I've labeled this one projects with an X with a capital P. Every time you have to label it the same. Now let's publish that post. <clears throat> okay, let me do it one more time so you can see. Let's go to new post. Let's do another recipe. We'll do cookies. And you're going to enter cookie post here. And we'll call it recipes. It's already going to be there for you because you used it once. And you're going to publish that post. Okay. So now, let's go to view blog. Okay. So now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to send me the link for that label. So this is really easy. All you're going to do is go to a post that you gave that label. As you'll see right here, we just did cookies. Here's the labels right underneath it, and recipes. Click on recipes, and you'll see here comes up. We did the cookies recipe, and we did the cake. The project the project post didn't come up because we gave it a different label. So only the posts that you labeled the same are going to come up under this label. You can see it up here in the navigation bar. I mean, sorry, in the URL that is titled recipes. So you're going to grab this link, and you're going to copy it, and you're going to send me that and say, this is my link for recipes. Now, let's go back home and find the label for projects. So we did custom cards, and here's our label projects. Click on projects, and this is the link you're going to send me. So basically what you're doing is you're creating an archive of posts. It makes it really easy for your readers to find everything that belongs in one category. So to go over it again really quick, you're going to write a post. You're going to give it a label. And I'm going to link that label to your navigation bar. So project. I would link it to the word project. So let's go back to this one that has project. Here, that word would be linked to all of her posts that she has done, that she has created, and labeled project. Now, when you do the words, you need to make sure that you decide on words, items that you want to be there for a while. The way that I create the navigation bar is different than the way that Blogger does it where you can go in and change it really quick. If I, this is one image and I slice it up and I code it and I link it. So it's not very easy to change. So be sure 
when you're deciding on what word you want in your navigation bar that there are going to be things that you want for a while. So I think that covers it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.